he's explicit about the fact that if this hospital closes down, bottom paragraph on his website, that if this hospital, the NHS will sell it for luxury apartments. Marcus Ginn's own words on his own website. He was absolutely against the sale of Charing Cross. What has changed him? Who has got to your council, ladies and gentlemen, who is willing to put your lives at risk for money, for millions and millions of pounds? This is our country. It does not belong to the millionaires. This is your hospital. It does not belong to the private sector. Behind the NHS sign, do you know we only have 30% left of our national health service? 70% hidden behind the National Health logo has been brought up by all the private companies. Here, here. It's you, our National Health. It's not a supermarket. Here. It's not a chain store. It's not a clothes shop. It saves lives. When you have a growth in your body, ladies and gentlemen, or a lump in your breast, where do you want to come to? Do you want to go to a supermarket and have your lump removed while you buy a can of beans? Or do you, ladies and gentlemen, want your hospitals, your NHS? This NHS was built on the back of a man. His name is Nye Bevin. He saw abject poverty. And we are going backwards, ladies and gentlemen, because the properties being built are not being built for you or your children tomorrow. And all you middle class people, your children in 20 years' time will be in exactly the same position as the children today. They will be worth nothing, nothing. It's your NHS. That building is only 41 years old on Thursday. It is a baby when it comes to buildings, NHS buildings. When we have hospital buildings that are 200 years old, but they're not knocking them down, or no, they're not, they're selling them. They're selling St Mary's Paddington, apparently, 50% of their site. So add the stroke unit from here, add all the other acute services, where are they going to stick you in a bed? In a tent outside? or in the gutter, or just wipe you off quietly to go home to die, because your cost of keeping you alive is not viable to them. That's the reality, ladies and gentlemen. We are just numbers. Millions and billions of us are just numbers. Marcus Ginn, his own statement in 2012, said closing Charing Cross is a danger a danger, a danger to you, a danger to your children, a danger to your grandparents, a danger to your husband. Marcus Ginn said, don't close down Charing Cross, and now he's closing it down. Now they're going to build a mini unit with a GP-led, GP walk-in centre. That is not an A and E. That is not blue light. That is not what sits around the corner and brings in hundreds of thousands of people every year, year on year, and sends people out, mostly alive, patched up to carry on with their lives, ladies and gentlemen. Without the NHS, the burial grounds would be massive, huge. We wouldn't have the population we've got today. We need to thank the NHS. We need to do the right thing for our children, for our elderly. We need to make sure we hang on to our NHS. This local government wants to sell your hospital and we're accused of lying. Do you think we stand here like idiots holding placards, dressing up in fancy dress for the fun of it, giving our hearts and our souls, making fools of ourselves because we're liars. We are not liars. An A&E is not a GP-led walk-in centre. An A&E, when you dial 999, puts you in an ambulance and brings you to a class, UK's number one stroke unit, brain surgery, cancer surgery, ladies and gentlemen, save hand our surgery. Save our souls, save our hospitals, save our souls. It's a lie. And then they'll start on the save expensive ones. They'll start on the kidney patients who live Just like rats. And when the kidney patients are done, it'll be the elderly. Stop quietly just sent on their way with no say in it because it's Stop very expensive 
to keep people alive. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus Ginn, in his own 11th of July, Marcus Ginn, in his own statement, councillor Marcus Ginn, he himself has said closing Charing Cross is dangerous. Dangerous. Ladies and gentlemen,